We are talking about the 6.7 magnitude Northridge earthquake that hit in 1994, the LA area, especially very, the San very Fernando long Valley. Day here at Caltech. Well, you recognize him, and that's Conan Nolan. You might recognize the voice even more than the reporter. Uh, we saw numerous buildings damaged in the quake, and... Okay, let's bring in Conan Nolan, reporting from Caltech on day one. You saw the video there 30 years ago. Conan. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Father Time, you are very cruel. But I have to say, if you, <laughs> oh, if, you went, if you went through it, you'll never forget it. That's for sure. What happened took place on Martin Luther King's birthday, so a few people were on the road. That saved lives. But this earthquake changed Southern California on multiple ways in terms of building codes, emergency response. It certainly changed our approach to seismology. It was when the earth shook and the sky burned at 4.31 a.m. January 17, 1994. The KNBC TV newsroom at Alameda and Olive in Burbank. Okay, we've got another aftershock coming. Roads buckled, gas and water lines ruptured. Millions were jarred awake. For many, the 10 to 20 seconds of violent shaking threatened their lives. It was like a bomb going off. Uh, it, the bomb went off, boom, one loud sound, building came up, shook a couple times, 12 feet straight down. 16 died in the collapse of the Northridge Meadows apartment complex. The second floor is now the first floor. All we kept hearing was, help me, please help me, all over the apartment complex. Several parking garages in the San Fernando Valley collapsed. Nearly a dozen hospitals were damaged. Patients evacuated. An LAPD officer responding to the emergency and in the dark didn't see that the 14 freeway interchange wasn't there anymore. The northbound 14 span going to the northbound 5 also approximately 200 yards collapsed. We are getting reports there are three vehicles trapped in that area. We're trying to get more information on that as well. Sections of the Santa Monica freeway came apart. But the freeway has been demolished. The shaking was felt as far away as Phoenix, Las Vegas and Ensenada, Mexico. On a fault, the seismologist didn't even know existed. It was a shallower earthquake apparently from the San Fernando Valley quake of 1971. I've assured them that we intend to do everything we possibly can uh, to help the people of Los Angeles and Southern California deal with the earthquake and its aftermath. The official death toll 57, over 8,700 injuries. At the time, the worst natural disaster in American history. A moment that changed Southern California forever. Now seared in its memory, along with a sobering reminder of the force which sleeps below our feet, which can awaken at any moment, as it did 30 years ago today. As a result of the Northridge earthquake, not only have seismologists tried to figure out exactly what, the, uh, what that episode meant for what is below our feet, keep in mind that up until that point, many seismologists focused on the large San Andreas Fault, the mammoth fault from San Francisco all the way to Palm Springs, and whether that was going to be the major threat to Southern California. When Northridge took place, they realized there were smaller faults Many they didn't even know about, including that one, that are even more dangerous and a threat to Southern California lifestyle. Things have changed, but uh, there's still an effort to get people to understand that we live in earthquake country. Back to you.